fashioned you from jewels Thank you. The British Youth Council celebrated its 60th birthday this year. Up to the age of 26, the BYC is the mouthpiece for issues most relevant to young people. Amongst the many things raised, politics was high on the agenda, and I explored how news can be pursued to engage with these listeners. How's the youth convention been going so far? What are the issues that have been talked about? Um, we've talked about uh, gun and knife crime, um, voting at 16, and how we feel about just general issues that come up really. What do you personally care about um, in terms of the, the social agenda and issues for young people? Um, I'm keen to for votes at 16. I always believe that the vote should be low to 16. The argument to that is 16 year olds aren't mature enough, but then again, our 18 year olds are more mature enough. Even if lots of people we vote. So, we our counts a little bit. Talks and workshops were dotted around the campus of Nottingham Trent University. I spoke to two different groups about how they engage with news issues and world events, where they got their information from and what changes could be made to provide young people with news. I also think that the way the news is presented is a turn off for young people in itself with a very boring person in a suit behind a desk the whole time. But if it's more, more interactive, in a sense, it can attract uh, younger viewers. <laughs> so I'm Martin, I'm from Brighton, and I'm 23. If they did like a, a young person's version of like Mock the Week, for example, that is that's funny. You get that you get to know the news, but you get to learn it in a funny way, <laughs> and you, it isn't all like thrown at you, like we're saying, because it was all long-winded. Like satire, like I read Private Eye quite a lot, just because it's funny, and I get to pick up on things that I just couldn't probably be bothered to read in like a proper newspaper. It, like humour is such, it's just such an accessible way for everyone to get involved in something. Like a website devoted to just young people's news, like um, where people can set it as the home page and then people can find out what other people are doing around the country. Something as simple as that will get people, young people, finding out more about other young people. Um, well, what I think would be really good is to have like a really short kind of burst of information because I think the thing is with young people is they don't necessarily want to sit down for ages and watch a really long news programme. Or read. You all use interactive websites, yeah. Facebook, uh, MySpace, Bebo, etc. as well. How would um, people, you know, who run the media, how should they be using those tools to get through to you? What, what, what should they be doing? Um, they could just do like bulletins and stuff because um, like with Windows Vista, you get like bulletins, like of all the news come up. So if they did that on something like Facebook, where most teenagers go, or MySpace, Facebook. whatever, then there's, it's so likely that people will read it. It would be better if it's brief as well, because you go on the internet and there are huge long articles, and you just don't want to read something that long sometimes. Up on MySpace, you have you have little um, clips or videos about different things. So why couldn't they make a sort of 60 second news kind of? Um, video so that, that young people can come and access every day or every week or something like that just to keep on top of things but not so it's hugely time consuming. Um, there's a TV on Sky called um, Current TV and I absolutely it, I love the programme because it has it's really young and gets young people involved because it allows people to take over the TV. Uh, back in my area a few years ago we worked towards our newspaper and got them to like convert the entire of page two or page three to young people and make them say good stuff about young people and stuff that young people are interested in too. Um, and that worked really well up until we stopped doing it. But if you could introduce something like that in a national paper, that would be beneficial to all of us. Um, I just want to say that actually we've been doing a survey with BYC and I figured out that my local newspaper actually do have quite good um, articles on news. But the thing is, this is on a local basis and the Sun, the Times and things like that, that actually don't have these kind of good articles. Like the only decent news I get is like on MTV and it's all like <laughs> pop gossip crap news. And then I'd rather like watch something a bit more intelligent because I think if the government was to make like a news for us, it would be really kind of... It would be really, yeah, patronising. One thing I don't think they should do is kind of label whatever they, like, yeah. whatever happens. If something happens, don't label it as you, because that just denies the essence. 
I think what would be really important, uh, going back to what Lucy was saying about letting people, letting young people take over, let, letting them have an idea of how the media works and being part of that process will also make um, them less inclined to really criticise them because I think the big issue that young people have with the media at the moment is it's either really boring or it's criticising them and I think if you've got a better understanding, if you've got an, a role and involvement in it, then I think um, it would it would lead to a more positive viewpoint on young people, but also it would give young people a better viewpoint on the media itself. Like, like I said before, like getting people actively involved and just giving people a forum to talk about like youth news as well, youth news as well, um, and normal news, like young people being able to talk about. I think the thing is, we still want to hear about all the other like the, the main news. It's not like because we're young people we don't want to hear the main headlines. It's just Go for it. Jamie Broadman from St. John Ambulance. I think it will give a lot of more young people the opportunity to watch the news if they're seeing it from their generation who are actually presenting it. Um, like As St. John we have events at Buckingham Palace where young people go and get awarded um, and we have press there but it's very rarely actually got onto like, national news where that's young people who've worked like, for over four years on awards and then they just don't get anything and I think it's a bit of a shame that the news isn't portrayed in that way and it's just mainly bad.